What's up guys, Styler here, back with another tutorial, and it's been a long time since I've done a tutorial or done anything on YouTube, because I just got, oh, I couldn't be bothered, just, just couldn't be bothered. <laughs> I'm going to start uploading videos again now, because I can, I'll just be getting back into it, and yeah, I've just been really just, just on my Xbox, got Gears 3, FIFA 12 now, so... Yeah, so we're gonna start by making this effect, which is sort of a monster energy sort of like rip effect, and yeah, it looks really nice. It also has sort of like chrome to it, like metally. You can do what you want with the background, but yeah, this is any color you want. Yeah, so we're just gonna hit File, New, make a new any size. My width's 1920 by 1080. RGB color, background color is white, and just hit OK. Now we're just going to hit Control I, which will obviously invert it, and this will turn it black because invert to white. And yeah, this makes it a lot easier, and it turns out a lot nicer on a dark grey or a darkish color of what you like it to be on. So we're just going to hit New Layer. I'm just going to drag my logo in here my new logo which I think yeah, actually looks pretty nice I made it like the other day I haven't used it yet and this is like the first background I used it on so yeah it turned out pr pretty nice let's just cut out this one control C control and control I that I just pasted it, control C it and control V it onto my layer one, which will obviously copy and paste it onto this file. So yeah. With now we have your logo or your text or whatever you've got for making this effect. We can just simply start editing it to make that monster energy work. Right, first we're gonna start off by doing the rip effect and now this is probably it's pretty simple it's really simple actually right, what I do I get control and click on the tab which will highlight the tab or highlight whatever your the tab has got in it or whatever the tab is so yeah and then go to your background it's gonna unlock it and then hit delete and that should take out whatever you got in that tab and then delete it from your background so now we can just get rid of that and as you see it's transparent background and it goes through so we've deleted that from the background now to make this rip effect we're just gonna go to get your brush tool you can right click or go there to change your brush and it co this comes with Photoshop and it's such uh, this one this paint it's just like it looks like a firework sort of like exploding you could have this you could have there's them three really are the best three for this effect I'm just gonna click with stick with that one because I like this one. And just let's get rid of that and click off it. Now we're gonna go to our actually we need to go to our raise tool and do that. There we go. Right. So there we have our brush. And now we're just gonna on your background layer. We're just gonna zoom in. I'm gonna I'm gonna take it down a little just to make it a little smaller. Maybe a little more. At like 59. I've got mine on. Now it's gonna rush rough away the edges as so it doesn't go all, it, it doesn't go the outside of it you have to sort of go in a bit and it gives it this sort of effect now we're just going to go around all the edges now just keep going around the edges make sure you get a lot smaller in the corners because you don't really want massive corners do you now there's that corner done I'm just going to do all the corners just so I have them all out of the way in the bag there's that corner there's a, that corner you just gotta really just be experimental with it and be creative about it and just go along with it like just take it away and it's a really nice effect by the end of it now I'm gonna cut this part of the video to show you it afterwards the, what I've done to it afterwards so yeah see you in like a minute and I'm back and that's what it looks like by the end I'm just gonna finish this little bit it looks pretty straight 
that's what it looks like. It looks sort of a mess at the moment. But now we're just gonna hide, not unhide that. Let's view that. Control on it to invert it, and that's your original logo and the outline of it, which is your monster rip effect. Now, all we gotta do now is simply add another new layer, drag it under your background layer, and deleted let's say, and put your colours in. Now I do this under it, so mine are gonna be green like I did last time. It's gonna be green and yellow in the sort of limey colour, sort of like the Monster Energy colour, because I think it looks really nice. I'm just gonna do it all green first. As you can see, that looks quite nice already. And you can see where it's coming from, where the effect's gonna come from and how it's all gonna end up. And another new layer and put a bit of yellows over the top of it. A couple of bits of yellows. Just randomly dot on them and maybe a bit of a more more purer green. Some places, just little dots of them. And there we have it, there's our all our greens. Sub that to overlay. And there, there's a nice now let's control E of M and there you go, there's your greeny greeny effect around the outside. Now what we're gonna do now is just double click that layer or go to effects or you can just go to effects and what I do I go to bevel and emboss and let's just put these on and simply drag the depth quite high and the size quite high and it gives it this sort of merely as you see it's darker one side like the other which we don't want it like that we want it like all over the place like darker in loads of different places and so easiest way to do this is to just take get rid of the background and now we have our logo and our our green uh, green uh, green color our color now what we're going to do simply is just rub out so it gives it the shape of our logo or our text and this will simply make it a lot easier for the bevel and boss to get on the inner so you can actually see it and yeah there we are there's our around our logo so now we're just gonna put that up again now you have little white bits that looks quite nice already and now we're gonna shove our bevel and boss on it and size maybe could be like that looks quite nice and yeah this is where you start playing around with how you want it to be I've sort of messed up a little bit here because I've rubbed it too small in which is what you don't want to do but you can still mess around with it see that looks nice as it like that I think I'm gonna put it around about around there I'm going to go for 150 size and 150 depth I reckon and that looks quite nice and now I'm just going to fill in this with a bit of green just simply fill it in under like so actually let's fill it in with a lime it will sort of because mine is sort of limey there you go and there you have <laughs> a really simple nice looking monster energy rip effect let's just enlarge that and it's really nice as you can see the outcome is pretty amazing and it's really nice for backgrounds and anything you really want to put it on and it it just gives such a good effect and yeah I've never not seen a lot of tutorials like this and <laughs> hope you enjoy guys peace out